Mahindra launched the TU V300 in September last year and while in the first month itself it managed to sell more than 4000 units of the car. April 2016 saw a stark drop in sales and the numbers touched just about 2000 units. Clearly the company needed a plan and well here it is. Well, Mahindra seems to have taken our feedback into consideration with regards to the TUV 300. Us media journalists, as well as many of the customers, told them that the 84 BHP one was slightly underpowered, which is why you have this one. Now, this is the 100 BHP version, the same engine as you have on the newer Sport, but it's on the TUV, which makes a lot of difference because there is 16 BHP more on offer. Now, how does it perform? with that much power we find out yes it's a powerful version of the tuv 300 and gets a bump of 16 bhp taking the total output to 100 bhp there are no cosmetic changes to the car apart from the m hawk 100 badge on the side but besides the bump in power there is a bump in torque figure as well There is 10 Nm more torque on offer, taking the figure up to 240 Nm. Now, the torque wasn't really an issue, but the bump in power certainly favors the power to weight ratio of the TUV 300. So, let's get down to how it is to drive. Do the additional power and torque make a difference? Now, as we told you earlier, this one gets 100 bhp on offer. So, is there a difference between this and the 84 bhp? Well, not really. You don't feel it in the earlier revs because the torque is available at 1,400 rpm, which is similar uh, to the earlier one. But uh, the difference comes out when you start overtaking, or if you start revving higher at around 3,200 plus rpm. It's when it's evident that there's a lot of power on offer, and that's when that 100 bhp makes a lot of sense. But It's not available in the T4 and the T6 variants. It's only available in the T8. So yes, the one with the AMT also comes with 100 brake horsepower, and that's what we really want to drive. And we'll soon get our hands on it for sure. The 1.5 liter engine, hence, gives that additional thrust, and that comes in handy when you want to overtake. All you do is downshift and the engine growls a bit but there's all the power you need to make your move. The response from the engine is better and the TUV 300 feels more confident too but not much around corners. The TUV 300 carries forward the body roll and you expect that because there are no mechanical changes made to the SUV. The TUV 300 with the M Hawk 100 engine is available in both the 5 speed manual and AMT variant. But the company is only making it available in the top end T8 variant so the T4 and T6 variants are not privy to this change in power. But the added power does have an effect on the fuel efficiency figures and it falls from 18.49 km per liter to 18.05 km per liter and though it might not seem too significant it is an expected drop. There are a few changes on the inside though those are restricted to the rear seats as the length of the cushion has been increased as also under thigh support which is better compared to the 84 bhp version the rest of the features on the inside remain the same the 100 hp tuv 300 comes priced at 8 lakh 98000 rupees for the manual variant and 9 lakh 72000 rupees for the amt and so it does come at a premium price but with these changes mahindra is making a true effort to tell the customers out there that it is listening to them and working to make its cars better